Welcome to MDDE 604. This video will provide a brief introduction and an overview of the course. The topics covered in this video include jumping into ISD, the ISD term project, a lens on quality when developing and peer reviewing ISD projects, and navigating the course. ISD stands for Instructional Systems Design. ISD involves an eclectic mix of roles and approaches. Those roles vary from project to project, but typically they include program developers, instructional designers, subject matter experts, and data analysts. The approaches taken in the ISD process include systems thinking, learning theory, information theory, and many other approaches. All of the different roles and approaches in the ISD process focus on taking a systematic approach to the design and development of instructional systems. We'll place a particular emphasis in this course on the ADDI model of instructional systems design. You'll get a chance to try out many roles in the ISD process. You'll complete a number of tasks or assignments that'll move you from proposing a new ISD project to scoping out the project's parameters and completing needs, learner, and task analyses, to storyboarding the project and then developing it in an LMS. You'll also participate in peer reviews of your project drafts, pilot test your project, and receive student feedback on your finished product. To further emphasize the real world nature of this project, you are encouraged to pick a project that applies to your own context which you could take away and use once this course is wrapped up. This infographic in the Assignments Overview Moodle book gives an excellent high-level overview of the stages of your course project and who you'll be working with along the way. One of the cornerstones of the ISD project process is getting and using the right kinds of feedback you'll be completing two peer review assignments in this course. In one, you'll act as an ISD expert, giving peer reviews on the draft projects being developed by a group of your classmates. In the second, you'll be a student in the modules developed by another group of your classmates, where you'll complete a student feedback survey. The aim of the peer reviews is to ensure that we all create the highest quality ISD projects. But what does that look like? When developing your own projects and reviewing others, focus on the overall quality. This includes not just the learning content, but the overall learner experience. How are the aesthetics? How is the user workflow? What about digital accessibility issues? And what about the establishment of a community of inquiry? Not all ISD projects will have high instructor or social presences, but does your module have the right mix for your purposes? We're using Moodle as our home base. As soon as you log in, you'll see a course description and some key resources to help you get started with the course. The course is divided into 13 weekly modules. Each module's topics are designed to align with the stages and the tasks of your ISD project. You may already be familiar with some of the topics, maybe not so much with some of the others. It's up to you as an adult learner to determine how much emphasis and time you place on certain weekly readings. The goal is to maximize your ability to do the best possible job at each stage of your ISD project. Under each week, you'll see a Moodle book of topic readings. You'll also find related discussion forums and assignment drop boxes for anything due that week. In many modules, there are activities and issues that you're encouraged to collaborate on with members of your ISD peer review group. There's also a link under the course resources section in Moodle to a shared library using Zotero, where you can find all of the course readings. You can also contribute new resources. You're encouraged to join the Zotero group and to try out the desktop application and the related browser plugin. You'll continue to have access to the Zotero library even after the course has ended. There are more tips on how to navigate the Moodle course site in the Start Here Moodle book. Again, 
Welcome to MDDE 604. Feel free to collaborate with your instructor and your group members to help navigate the course and to complete your ISD project. And enjoy the course!